All right. So now that we've got everything set up and ready to go as far as our custom post type classifieds goes and all the extra fields that we need to make a proper classified posting, it's time to start adding some data. So let's quickly go ahead and we're going to start adding some dummy content in this lesson. Now, I'm only going to do one here just so you see how the flow is from the back end. But what I'm going to want you to do is to do at least three in each category. That means I'm going to need three in the for sale category. I'm going to need three in the free stuff category. And I'll need another three, of course, in lost and found. So let's get to it. All right, so you guys are already used to this part. And as usual, we're going to start in the back end of our Divi Classifieds install here. And I am going to go and head over to our Classifieds custom post type. And I am just going to add new Classified. So now a lot of this is going to look familiar, just like submitting a regular post. But when we scroll down here, of course, we've got all of those Classifieds ACF fields that we created earlier. So let's get down and dirty with this. I'm going to create a post for a lost pet. And I am going to type in zip is the name of my pet. This was actually my childhood best friend. So don't laugh at that name, please. <laughs> and then um, year is the content field. So I'm going to want to just get some lorm ipsum text that I have here already up on the screen. If you wanted to generate some yourself, you can just go to lorimipsum.io. And if you don't know what lorem ipsum text is, it's just basically some placeholder text that developers use a lot of times while they're building out sites to see what those pages would look like with the amount of content on it. Because of course, the amount of content will a lot of times drive what the design of the page is gonna look like. So going back here to our site, I'm just gonna go ahead and paste that in there. And now we've got some extra work to do here. Let's finish with all the basic form settings and then all the basic classified post settings. And then we're going to go over to the ACF field. So first we need to tell it what category we're going to be in. And of course I am doing a lost and found. So I'm going to click that box right there. And then zip was not a bag furniture house. He was in fact a pet. So I'm going to put that in there. And then you've got the option to go put in the featured image. And the featured image is the one that we're going to have be at the top of our card, the main image shows up in the listings and stuff like that. Now I've got a lot of pets in here already um, because I've already added a bunch of data for you, but we're gonna just select this nice headshot and I just need to move my head out of the way a little and then hit set featured image. So we've got that in there. Now next up, we wanna get the owner information in there. So we're gonna put in my name and then We'll go with the contact info and I'm just going to use dummy email and then some phone number. Next up, we're going to want to add some more images to our gallery here. And as you can see, I've got a few different pictures for him. I'm going to add that one. And now you can add up to four because that's what we set when we set up this ACF field. So if you want it more, of course you can do that. You would just need to set that up on the back end of your site on the ACF um, settings for that field and just add some more images. And then I usually just round that out with the featured image because of the way that we're gonna be utilizing the gallery feature on the single product page later in the course. Um, you'll see why. Cool. Now, Zip does not have a price, so we're not gonna put a price on there. Um, but as far as location, you can go put in any location. I'm just going to put where I am at this moment, which is Cape Town, South Africa. So bam, select that. And beautifully, the map updates right there. It's so easy and it looks great. And then, of course, the status is lost. And then you've got all these other statuses in here that we set up also with the ACF field. So there we go. So we've got our custom taxonomy, which are these things right here. It's our classifieds categories and our item types. And then we've got all of our ACF fields. So that's looking fantastic. So all left to do is to hit the publish button. And you can see my post has been published. I'm gonna go over and there we've got it. We've got Zipier on the page, but this is not looking great, right? Uh, we don't have those gallery images. We don't have you know, the map, we don't have the information on, you know, what type of post this is, none of that. So in the next step, we're going to be addressing the custom loop layout, and you're going to start getting familiar with the different modules found in the machine that helps you show these extra ACF fields that you've created, displaying the custom taxonomy and a lot of other cool stuff that we'll do. 
Now, remember, I want you guys to go ahead and add at least nine classifieds posts here. So repeat this process to add nine more. Now, three in each category, that's going to be three in for sale, three in free stuff, and three in lost and found. Got it? Awesome, guys. I'm going to catch you in the next lesson real soon.